What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about bar thickness in street lifting. Does the thickness of the bar actually matter in weighted dips and pull-ups? And if so, what should the standard thickness be? So I've been pondering this question for several weeks now and I started wondering about it because in a lot of sports there's always a standard in equipment. For example, in powerlifting, the barbell has a certain thickness. In basketball, the ball has a specific air pressure range. In football, probably the same thing. So all of these sports have some established standard equipment. However, in street lifting, this is not the case. Different bars are used, and one of the differences within these bars is the thickness. So in today's video, I will discuss and hopefully help you understand whether bar thickness matters. So I went to a commercial gym the other day and took measurements of their dip bars as well as my own. And to my findings, most dip bars have a diameter of approximately two inches or five centimeters, with one exception being the dip attachment at the commercial gym with a diameter of 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters. Two inches seems to be the most common diameter in dip bars as it allows a hand like mine with a thumb to pinky hand span of about 8.5 inches or 21.6 centimeters to wrap around the bar fully. I made a video a few months ago about how squeezing the dip bars can help you stabilize the eccentric and prevent shaky forearms in a one rep max attempt. This still applies and I believe that if you have a dip bar that is thin enough to wrap your hands fully then you can apply maximum squeeze. However, if the only requirement for a dip bar to be good enough is to wrap your hand around the bar fully, then by this logic, you would have no problem doing dips on bars that were as thin as a pencil. However, this is not the case. There has to be a minimum level of thickness in the dip bar for two reasons. The first is that you cannot squeeze a thin dip bar during dips if the majority of your hand that makes contact with the dip bar is on your palm closer to your wrist. Side note, this is the ideal hand placement in dips as it uses the wrist bone to hold the load. The second reason is balance issues. If you are able to overlap your thumb with your other fingers to a large extent as you can with a thin dip bar, the amount of surface area that makes contact between your hand and the dip bar is reduced, which implies that the distribution of the downward force across the dip bars is also reduced, and there is a higher chance that you may slip off of the bars during the rep, and this can be dangerous for clear reasons. So overall, dip bar thickness matters, and the ideal thickness is a dip bar that is thin enough to wrap your hands fully, but thick enough to reduce the amount of overlap between your thumb and your other fingers. So unless you're Kawhi Leonard, then for most people, two inch diameter dip bars should be good enough for your dip needs. I think we can all agree that bar thickness in pull-ups certainly matters for street lifting. If anyone's worked with a fat grip attachment before, then you would know that there is more emphasis put on grip strength, which takes away from your pulling strength. So ideally, we don't want the bar to be too thick to the point that our energy is expended on holding ourselves onto the bar rather than performing the rep. This goes for both thumb over and under the bar in pull-ups, and it can certainly apply for chin-ups as well. But what about thinness? Can a bar be too thin for pull-ups? I have not done pull-ups on bars that had a diameter of less than 1.25 inches, so I can't say for sure. However, I would imagine that a minimum level of thickness is still required because you want to establish a formidable overhand grip in pronation. To a certain extent, we are relying on the friction between our hands and the bar to maintain the grip, so it would be more ideal for you to connect as much of the surface area of your hand with the bar, which is done in an overhand grip. By doing so, the grip remains stable, and this stability is especially pronounced if you use grip tape and or chalk. Another reason is discomfort. 
If the bar is too thin, there is more pressure felt on your hands, which can cause pain since the bar can more easily dig into your hands. So overall, pull-up bar thickness matters and the ideal thickness is a pull-up bar that is thin enough to keep the amount of grip strength required to keep yourself on the bar at a minimum level and thick enough to connect as much of your hand to the bar as possible. Usually, this diameter would be about 1.25 inches, which would be adequate for most people's hand size. Hope you guys learned something, and if you enjoyed that video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.